Hello, beautiful souls. Today, we're going to discuss six ways to combat COVID brain. Over the last three years, COVID has tested our resilience in so many different ways. Many people are discovering that they're suffering from what is now being termed as long COVID. This is a continuation of fatigue, cough, shortness of breath, myalgia, brain fog, and laundry list of many other symptoms, which may last up to five weeks or even longer. Actually, in my private practice, I've seen people that have had symptoms now for over six to seven months. Persistent brain fog is a common long COVID symptom, which is referred to as the COVID brain. And we're going to discuss today how our brain and gut are connected through brain gut access and how microbiome plays an important role in your recovery. Anyone can suffer from long COVID and long COVID brain, even if you didn't have the symptoms when you were infected to begin with. A study of 250,000 people found that one third suffered from persistent neurological and psychiatric symptoms over six months following COVID infection. The most prevalent cognitive long COVID complaint seems to be brain fog, which can be experienced as trouble concentrating, confusion, fuzzy or slow down thoughts, forgetfulness, feeling lost for words, general mental fatigue. COVID brain symptoms vary widely from person to person and can feel similar to the effects of sleep deprivation or stress. So it's absolutely important that you discuss this with your healthcare provider, somebody who's absolutely open-minded, and I would definitely recommend a functional medicine healthcare provider that you can do all kinds of testing and navigate uh, through your symptoms with much more ease. So your microbiome is the key to your recovery. In your gut, you have microbiome, an internal ecosystem hosting trillions of microorganisms. There's over 400 different species of microorganisms in the human GI tract. Your gut microbiome is as unique as your DNA on your fingerprints. And actually they vary from region to region. Let's say you live in the Northern part of America. Some, some, some of the other ones, some of you might be living in Africa, perhaps, or Europe, most likely your microbiome will vary also depending on the region that you live in. And here are just a few bodily processes your gut microbiome is involved in. Nutrient absorption, digestion and elimination, regulating your energy level, hormone metabolism. And when an imbalance happens, you may suffer from the following, bloating, stomach pain, heartburn, constipation or diarrhea, or extreme weight fluctuations. Cognitive processes and mood is directly connected to your microbiome by the way of brain-gut axis. Actually, I'm not sure how many of you know this, but serotonin, your happy neurotransmitter or happy hormone, 95% of it is made in your gut, not in your brain. So when brain gut access, communication system is compromised due to viruses or perhaps um, a load of uh, harmful bacteria, right? Uh, you are more susceptible to inflammation, stress, fatigue, and all kinds of chronic conditions. A preliminary study highlighted that some patients with COVID-19 had decreased beneficial bacteria in their gut, such as lactobacillus and bifidobacter. And by the way, for those, for those of you that are following my podcast, Holistic Living Podcast, I did an amazing interview with Dr. Sabine Hazen, and she is absolutely uh, the top researcher in the field of gastrointestinal health and some of the findings, actually, she was the first one or her lab was the first one 
to sequence uh, COVID-19 in the stool. And then she has a lot of published data on the correlation of COVID-19 and bifidobacter in the gut. So the good news is, even if you've had multiple COVID infections, you are absolutely able to rebuild your gut microbiome and help yourself combating COVID brain. So here are the six, six things that I recommend. Number one, mushrooms, cordyceps and lion's mane. Mushrooms are consumed around the world as food and medicine. They are super food full of vital nutrients. Certain species like cordyceps and lion's mane are anti-inflammatory, anti-pathogenic, and antioxidant. Research has shown that consuming mushrooms can reduce disease risk factors, boost immune system, control inflammation, and improve recovery for those with COVID-19 infections. Consuming two or more servings of mushrooms per week is linked with a 57% lower risk of cognitive impairment. And by the way, all of the things that I mentioned to you uh, have to be absolutely tested for your unique system. And I'm referring testing to applied kinesiology. So you need to find somebody who's an amazing practitioner who can also test these products on you and, and see if they are the right fit. Because there's, as you know, there is no one protocol that fits all. These are just some of the suggestions that I have. Probiotics, number two, probiotics protect the gut against unwanted pathogens. One study found that patients given probiotics during their hospitalization for COVID-19 reported significantly less fatigue and increased levels of key energy metabolites six months after their hospital stay. Eating a variety of foods rich in pre and probiotics on daily basis will boost the beneficial bacteria in the gut. A spore-based broad-spectrum probiotic is the ideal choice if you go to uh, towards the supplement route. Now, it is important for some of you who have um, dairy intolerance to absolutely read the labels, labels because many varieties of probiotic are also derived from dairy. So you might see lactose as, as one of the sources. So just stay away from that. And if you do need a dairy-free probiotic, there's many varieties on the market. CoQ10 is number three and alpha lipoic acid. So CoQ10 or also called coenzyme Q10 and alpha lipoic acid are mitochondrial nutrients and antioxidants. These compounds can help protect your brain from free radicals, improve stress response and protect your heart. The Requerpa study found that COVID-19 patients who received supplementary coenzyme Q10 and alpha lipoic acid had a 53.5% complete result on the fatigue severity scale. Number four, omega-3 fatty acids. Study found, studies have found that omega-3 may help treat mood and cognitive disorders. Supplementing with omega-3 can support heart and brain health by cleansing inflammation and restoring tissues. Studies have shown that omega-3 supports the long-term health of the brain, behavior, and immunity. I do want to quickly mention that not all of the omega-3 fatty acids are created equal. So it's important that you take it from the source, which is small fish. So that is key, like anchovies, perhaps sardines, anchovies probably would be a better source. You don't want to have large fish uh, as a source of your omega-3s because that also contains a lot of heavy metal toxicity. So you don't want to put your brain at risk even further. Number five, adrenal support. Your adrenal glands sit on top of your kidneys and serve as key players in your endocrine system. They produce over 50 hormones in the body, including epinephrine, cortisol, progesterone, estrogen, and testosterone. And actually in women, post-menopause, this is where all of your hormones are created. 
the stress of COVID-19 has caused many people to struggle with adrenal fatigue. You can support your adrenals by creating a healthy daily routine, avoiding caffeine, walking for gentle exercise, and getting plenty of sleeps. Of course, um, there is a test that you can take to see what level of adrenal fatigue you're in. There's three different levels. If you are the person that tends to uh, wake up in the middle of the night, most likely it is your cortisol that is waking you up. Uh, there are, of course, uh, herbal supplements that you can take, but it is important to know what stage of adrenal fatigue you are experiencing. And then, of course, seeing the right practitioner that will help support that. Number six, vagus nerve and breath work. The lungs and gut are connected through a gut lung axis, also known as the vagus nerve. Breath work is an excellent way to stimulate the vagus nerve, release stress, boost immune function, and detoxify your body. It's a powerful way to activate different areas of your brain that have not been getting enough oxygen. So I'm going to actually put a link below to a video that I've done in the past where I guide people through the journey. This was, I think, during 2020, uh, where we've done a 30-minute breathwork journey together. So I'll make sure it's included. In the meantime, take good care of yourself. Take it easy. Be healthy. Be well. And many blessings.